Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex, pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look again on the gold market. So mostly uh, we stand in the same uh, situation as it was in the end of the previous week. So this week was um, relatively quiet because the market was thin, gold market was closed due to the celebration of Thanksgiving. Uh, so in general currently if you'll take a look at some fundamental and political factors that stand beyond the gold, uh, there are a lot of them that support interest to the gold market. So this is a weakness on the stock market, and stock market, guys, actually is a different story because, uh, as you know, the traditionally, seasonally, uh, stock market usually is rising on November because historically in November is the election month, and uh, that's uh, we, we could uh, gamble on the different uh, background of this event, why the stock market usually rising on the November. So maybe... This is made for the population who feels the positive before the elections, or maybe this will be due to the ending on the financial year when the hedge funds close their sheets and uh, calculate the result of the um, work within the year. But that's definitely, everybody knows that it's November month as a rule, the positive month for the stock market. And currently, guys, if you'll take a look what we have on the November, uh, this is quite a different story. So in this year, even despite the elections that we, we, we've got in the United States, the stock market mostly drop, is dropping. So that's, not, that's another important event uh, that is support the gold market. That could mean something. And I think that the, gold market, uh, that the stock market will play the, one of the major roles in um, demand for the gold. Also, the political events stand far from the final solutions of this is the Brexit, this is a different, difficult relationship between the United States and the China and other turmoils in the world that we have currently. So all this stuff supports the uh, demand for the gold. So uh, finally, as you know, there's some possible changes in the Fed policy. It all stands on the table right now, so everything was really hawkish, but currently the due comments from the Fed representatives recently, uh, investors start, start to have some doubts on the perspective on how much rate will be increased more in 2019. So everything, this uncertainty in general supports, turns to, uh, triggers the risk aversion and uh, supports demand for the gold. And uh, I think that this um, medium term perspective, the overall sentiment stands moderately bullish for the uh, gold market. It supports the idea of the possible production at least currently we do not see something really outstanding that could let us think about that situation drastically has changed and we should be pre should prepare for collapse uh, currently it's not the time yet um, so on a daily chart we are watching for this upside channel we also talked about it already and um, as you remember we, we see in this upper direction that could become something different compared to maybe the retracement from this leg uh, because uh, here market, it was really too sharp reversal. Because market on this way down is broken for the OP target of this ABCD patient and shows the acceleration with the gap open to the XOP. But suddenly it has stopped. This was also the reversal and turns up. For retracement of this ABCD action, it's too significant. Because if market would stay bearish, probably some minor pullback here could happen right to these lulls uh, in market really could turn down again with the hitting on XOP and reaching the next target. But market supports this trend line as a pullback. Here on the intraday charts, double repo buy have been formed. Uh, was formed. And this is actually, as you know, the short-term bullish reversal passion. And that lets us think that maybe this indeed could become the further leg up. Final to 1260 area that we're watching for in the weekly chart. At least currently, this scenario is still valid. So uh, on the four-hour time frame chart retracement that we have talked about in the last week finally has started uh, because if you remember, 
somewhere in the Tuesday and Wednesday, we said take a look. This market should form here the last spike, form the butterfly. This will be OP target. It's combining with the 1225 fever resistance, it could trigger the minor pullback because strong resistance. Um, that's normal action that should follow. Next target here will be XOP. Potentially here, guys, we're also watching for this reverse hand shoulders pattern. So we think that here retracement probably will be not too significant, and then market should continue right, right to the XOP target. That's our suggestion uh, on the next week. Uh, multiple grabbers have been formed here, and finally on Friday we see the starting pull bank here that we have talked about. Actually, the trading plan that we will follow on the next week stands on the hourly chart. Uh, so here you could, could recognize some shape of the hand shoulders, and uh, as usual, we'll be watching for the two patterns. If you're a scalp trader, you trade on the hourly chart and lower time frames, you could watch for garbage cheaper to sell. With the OP uh, around 12.27, where market could start the second leg of downside retracement that we'll be watching for. So if market will not stop here and start up reaction back at 12.30 and taking out of these stops, it will mean that no retracement will happen probably, uh, and market directly will continue action to the XOP. So it means that this retracement already is done. So just minor pullback here, just some consolidation, this reaction on the OP. That's important point for those of you who like to take the short position. For those who are watching for the long position, uh, we sit on the hands and wait for the two-leg retracement down. Uh, supposedly, it should start somewhere somewhere here because it also will be some harmony between the left shoulder, hands, right shoulder could be. And AB equals CD target leads us right to the 1216 confidence support, so also the agreement. And that is most probable area where the upward action could be reestablished. It's very strong support. One thing that we would like to see is a gradual action as it stands here. We do not want, want to suggest one single candle right to the 1216. So this section should be gradual. As soon as market will hit it, we will sort of chance to go long, but in general, this will be, as you can see, a big guardless chip will to buy right to the 1216. That's the scenario for those who are watching for taking the long position. Conversely, if market suddenly will break this area up and will no downside retracement will happen. In this case, we'll start to watch pullback on the most recent upward leg for try and take the position on the minor retracement. Because it will mean that market stands on the roll to the XLP target. That's approximately that we'll be watching for on the gold market in the next week.